when four-year-old Ben Anderson's parents brought him to Alberta Children's Hospital for a routine day surgery earlier this year, they had no way of knowing Ben had pediatric vasculitis, an inflammation of the blood vessels, which can cause serious permanent damage to organs such as the brain, heart, and kidneys. When the nurse was doing the My PDOT, she found that his blood pressure was quite high. So at first they thought it was the machine, and they tried a few different machines, but it wasn't the machine. His blood pressure was actually, I think at that point it was systolic was 170, 180, mm -hmm. um, which was just so surprising because he was fine. He was acting just how he always does. He was a little bit nervous, but nothing out of the ordinary. We tried to find out why his blood pressure is so high. So one of the things we did uh, really fairly quickly was we admitted him to hospital. He actually had to be admitted to the intensive care unit because his blood pressure was critically high. Um, and uh, we looked for reasons why his blood pressure is high, one of them being decreased blood supply to his kidneys. So he had a test looking for blood supply to his kidneys. And it showed that the blood vessels that supply blood to his kidneys are very, very narrow. After seeing the results of an MRI scan, Dr. Suzanne Bensler knew Ben had an extremely rare form of pediatric vasculitis called tachyasus arteritis, which causes inflammation of the blood vessels around the heart and kidneys. Vasculitis is difficult to diagnose, as there are often no symptoms until there is already significant tissue and organ damage. Fortunately for Ben and his family, Alberta Children's Hospital is one of the top facilities in the world for the diagnosis and treatment of pediatric vasculitis. So if there would have been another reason, like a tumor or a scar or something that we can't reverse, then you know it would be obviously very bad news. But with inflammation being in the wall of the blood vessel, inflammation is our business. You know, we, we know how to treat inflammation very well. So seeing that the vessel walls are actively inflamed for me was something that I felt, okay, I know what we can do. And, you know, for the parents, it was, it was, you, it was very surprising. They'd never heard about vasculitis. They'd never heard about inflammation in the vascular wall in healthy children and so forth. So we had to, we had to get each other up to speed and then talk about what we can do, which is treating the inflammation in the vascular wall to reverse this process and, you know, enable blood supply to the kidneys and his blood pressure will be normal. We feel so blessed. Yeah, we would have never, never known that really anything was wrong until something was really, really wrong, yeah. right? And then it's too, almost too late or you're just, we just felt so lucky that we caught it when we did. Thanks to Dr. Bensler, Alberta Children's Hospital is part of an international network of researchers who are pooling their knowledge about the diagnosis and treatment of this rare disease in children. One area researchers are currently focused on is developing a blood test to screen for vasculitis. Ben, like other patients enrolled in the research network, has provided a small blood sample so that researchers might be able to pinpoint common biomarkers in patients with the disease. So we really urgently need better markers to, to test for it and not wait for organ dysfunction. And in Calgary, we are absolutely fortunate that we can actually do the testing that we are hoping to uh, establish around the world of those biomarkers and treatment targets already. It's a wonderful place for, um, for somebody who is, has an interest in inflammatory diseases and even better place for children with inflammatory diseases because I think we can offer different testing and different treatment than anywhere else in Canada.